Hi there ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to my channel, my name is Nick and today we continue on Tatooine and most likely finish everything aside from surprising on this amazing sand covered planet. Last time we managed to fight, oh, I wouldn't call it a fight, but we managed to loot a cry dragon and it is then and of course found it another piece of star map in his lair so let's check if we can talk to Bastila um, do you want to talk Uh, are you going to give the go? <laughs> are you going to give the holocron to her? Do you think I should? You might want to consider it. That would just lead to another argument. I would always despise talking to her. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Of course. So, Basta's mother. Bastila's father's holocron has been found out in the desert, basically in Cry Dragon Den. Cry Dragon's Den. Still intact. Bastila is unsure, however, whether she intends to give it back to her mother. Part of her thinks she should keep it for herself. She and her father were close. Either way, it's probably a good idea to return to her mother at the cantina. Yeah, so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Statement. Can you HK tell us some, something new? Mm. You don't need to call me master, you know. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Organic meat bags? <laughs> <laughs> you just called me <laughs> me back again. <laughs> He's hilarious. It's just that you have all these squishy parts, Master. And all that water. How the constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad, I have no idea. Neither do I, come to think of it. Statement. Now do you understand the travails of my existence, Master? Surely it does not compare to your existence, but still. Ah, oh, I survived somehow. <laughs> well, HK47, you are the best character so far, so. <laughs> and maybe the best droid ever, so. Yeah, really enjoying his company. <laughs> yeah. So we are back on this, and we need to go there, okay. So let's give up our Cry Dragon Pearl. We received last time uh, yeah this way some people chieftain <laughs> well said I want information on sand people culture. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Tell me the history of your clan. Give him a dragon pearl then. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He is stupefied, Master. He never thought you could return with such an 
item? Such a thing has not been done in many years. Translation. He will allow you to meet the storyteller. It also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat the histories incorrectly, you will be killed. Translation. The storyteller will be summoned to one of the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think this is a great honor for you, Master. Mm -hmm. Why are they so hostile to outsiders then? Let's try to ask him once again. I think we did that last time. But... Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, mm. this is just one more well, example of your So there's nothing more you can tell us, it seems. He says you are blind. Translation. His people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Mm -hmm. Translation. That act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to my other questions. We should not keep him this is, it is an insult to take too much to be going time. Nowhere. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Mm. Tell him farewell, for now, of course. Translation. We are free to leave. Great. And we lost Grey Dragon Pearl. Amazing. So Oh, sorry. The storyteller. So he's in the next room. Great. Let's ask him then. Oh. I'm honored. Ask him what he records. Translation. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally to each successive generation. Translation. A book or data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To commit it to paper or storage is to remove it from the people. The topics can I choose from? This will be long, so let's begin the history. Continue with the history. Translation. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars. And this sin drew the attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars. They lashed them to millstones. Translation. Great demons of metal stripped the world of its riches until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted away. Translation, those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Mm -hmm. 
Continue. Translation. Translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a plague weakened them, and the time of the Great War began. Translation. The builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation, they worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe, deep in cave homes carved from valley walls. Okay, continue. Translation. Editing, if I may, Master. This section of his tale details several millennia of the long walk. Their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world. Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest bantha and move on to more recent Mm -hmm. No, I want to hear it all. Resignation. <laughs> Very well, Master. <laughs> Several hours, hours later. Translation. The okay. crimes spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people and all cherish the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation. Then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation. These outsiders reminded them of their past transgression. Of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation. So it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. Come again, time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Mm -hmm. Is there anything further? Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. I want to ask questions about what I've heard. Cautionary. seen as trying to change the meaning of what was said. Verification. They may consider this to be speaking the words in error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Mm hmm Do have some, something about a long war. Impatience. Master, I refuse to inconvenience you with this. He spouted names of petty tribal fights in deserts so distant they might as well be across the galaxy. <laughs> really, Master, I'm sure it's important to him, but it has nothing of value that you could ever put to use. We'll have to discuss this importance, HK47. Of course, Master. Just no more of their innate wandering. I want to ask some something <laughs> about the Great War. Clarification. The occupying force suffered some sort of species-wide plague that lowered their numbers over time. His people used this extended weakness to sabotage their larger ships. The response of the builders appears to have been to lay waste to the entire surface of Tatooine. How could they repel such a powerful species then? Doubting. They didn't, Master. They struck a blow. But the storyteller only believes they won because the builders were gone when they emerged from their caves. That does not mean they defeated anyone. It seems clear that the Builders simply sterilized their problem and left. The enemy judged them not worthy to fight. What kind of weapon could do such da so much damage? I may not have properly conveyed how long they fought with the Builders. Given time, any number of armaments could destroy a world. Hypothesis. Perhaps this is another distortion. 
their climate may have begun to fail due to their unrestrained development even before the builders arrived. Looking back thousands of years later, such a shift could easily be attributed to the much hated conquerors. Mm -hmm. uh, could they survive such an attack? Hypothesis. If his people were moving away from technology for a long time under the builders, they may have had extensive cave systems that could grant shelter. I would also suggest that, given the evidence of the massive shift in the nature of their society, most of them did not survive. Mm -hmm. And there are something different. Ordinary. Remember my warning, Master. They may consider certain questions to be speaking sure, sure. the words no of error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Let's ask about time of enslavement. Clarification. I believe they were occupied by this technologically superior species for a substantial period. Stripping an entire planet of usable resources would have taken generations. How many of these people are taken off war? How would the invaders have done this? Obvious. That same reason Zerka Corporation is attempting it now. Expanding empires need tremendous amounts of resources. So was us something different? Remember my warning, Master. They may consider certain questions to be speaking the words in error a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Mm-hmm. So let's ask about the ancient times. Verification. It would appear that they once had a thriving technologically advanced society, but were wiped out by a much more sophisticated alien species. Is there anything in the galactic record that would verify this? Negative. I am no library, but since there is no Republic record of this planet having sentient life before Zerka colonization, I doubt you will find such evidence. Ask him if these builders resemble any other species. Translation. Translation. He only understands the builders as an iconic force meant to test the resolve of his people. He is not making sense, Master. Clarification. They claim their stories are repeated unchanged, but they have demonized these builders. In their minds, they wreak such havoc they could not possibly be flesh and blood. Mm. Can you clarify how long ago Tatooine was green with life? Doubting. I don't believe he can, Master. Even if their stories are exact and unchanged, it is likely they were first told thousands of years after these events occurred. This has become very much like a creation myth for his people. There is no date. It simply was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go back. I will ask whatever you wish, Master. <laughs> okay. So continue the history where we left off. Still was the insult to come. Translation. These 
outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, look like their ancient abducted. Translation, so it is to the current sons that the sad mm -hmm. people so hate that. all so outsiders that, that's and give them that's no all for the history. You come again time the after people. time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Is there anything further? Uh -huh. Different groups of attempted planetary settlers, yep. all of whom are poorly described, long dead, okay. and likely unprecedented. So nothing more to I hear from him. I believe I truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll work on the later. Translation. We are free to leave. Great. So we heard something about uh, the builders once again, and soon we will meet them, I guess. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. No spoilers. But that's it for the sand people. Okay, who's missing? Basto, of course. Where do we have that? Here we have Bastila. So that concludes Sand People, their history, and a piece of puzzle regarding Star Map as well, because builders played a huge part in it. So <laughs> and it's been hinted several times before. So did we looted this? Yeah, we looted this one. So. Now we can go freely back to Anchor Hat, even though we can just fast travel there. Uh, much, I would rather prefer walking, as there might be something, some more praise to hunt. Hopefully, and credit, extra credits will be handy. So do we have our team? We have our team, great. So, almost there. Almost... There. I would rather fill my pockets before leaving, even though there are several options to do that, either way, swoop racing or Hazak, but I'm a fan of neither of that, so not going to happen, <laughs> at least anytime soon. Oh, over there, so let's go hunt them. Raids, I believe they are called. Yeah, raids, and we have to talk to Isis as well, so... Stun him and do some critical damage, please. Safe, using lots of like that in close proximity. Yeah, that would be a lot of for a <laughs> Get items, please. Scope plate. Critical oh, strike. Oh, what a different, what a weird sort of running. They do. Yeah, so who's, who's going to blind them? as well that's all here and that's the last few things 
Once again. So, the only unfortunate thing is we can't heal HK like that. And another unfortunate thing is that on this playthrough he will not be fully repaired, or at least partially repaired, and he will not get his self heal or self repair, whatever you want to call it. So, let's head back to Anchor Head. And do as many things as we can. <laughs> Going through the wall, it seems, is pretty natural here. Okay, easy. Here we have you. Uh, that will be fine. Good luck. Hmm. Good. So this is done. Did we receive anything? Things to give you, and I can't seem to find anything in you. Too many new things. Oh yeah, I should sell all of these. Most likely I will. Yep, never mind. Can we trade with him? No, we can't trade with him. Great. Great. So let's go back to Campina to boss to us beloved mother. <laughs> well, really looking forward to seeing both of them together once again. So Campina, let's go. There she is. So Helena. Oh. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, my love. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living the world. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. But you took Father on board of Rey. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore. It's time you parted ways now. For both our benefit. Maybe you should listen to what she has to say. You don't know. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the whole crown? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of you should be the first to give the other a break? You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. 
father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Treasure hunting is a dangerous occupation. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that. So that's why you gave me to the order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you are. Father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatment. That's why he went to the poor. I begged him not to. To trap me. I'm dying, Father. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time to come. And there's really nothing that can be done. I told your father to let me go. But you know how it was. Stop it. I'm so sorry, Mother. I didn't know to say. Keep the Holocaust. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Oh, no. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince with me. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? I'll do my best. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after, after what I have to do. But I already told you there's nothing to can Please take Mm -hmm. So, quest finished and we leveled up. So, remaining points in persuasion, maybe? No, persuade is more than high. At this point, so computer use, it will be <laughs> very handy. Very handy soon. No, not exactly soon, but you know what I mean. I can now do force wave. <laughs> of course, I'm going for that, so. Accept. Wisdom. Yeah, we are very wise at this point, it seems. Can we talk to Bastua? No. So, do you feel better now? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, speak to Bastel. Why did the council send me with you on this mission? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the force is involved. <laughs> it just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I got the feeling there's more going on that I know. I wondered if the council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the council explained, sending a master in our group had only had drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The council would not risk the game to test me. They calculated the risks and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. Learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Yeah. 
Yeah, right. I suppose we should get back to the mission now. Okay, so, Bastila, you've asked Bastila why the council sent the two of you, neither fully trained, on this dangerous mission. Based on her answer, Bastila either has blind faith in the council or she simply prefers to avoid the question. Which is the situation? Well, we all, <laughs> we know the truth. And soon things will change, so... Let's just walk our way back to our Ebonhawk ship. Oh. And that will be it for today and for Tatooine as well. So, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, because Tatooine is really one of my favorite places here in this game. Uh, as mentioned before, we are trying to get 50. <laughs> oh my god. Why she is so slow? We are trying to get 50 subscribers, so if you are watching and haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. It will really help this channel a lot. And as always, leave a like if you like this video, of course, and this series. Comment. Any sort of feedback is highly welcomed, so feel free to do so. And have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you guys.